Hi, my name is Lisa Chatterton. I'm a professional artist based in Berkshire and I love watercolours and water-based media. I wanted to tell you about a new course I have available and it's on www.lizchatterstudio.co.uk and it's all about pen and wash but it's pen and wash with a difference. Instead of using commercial pens, which is what most people do, I'm going to encourage you to use a dip pen and Indian ink. But it's not a dip pen that you'll buy in an art shop, it's going to be one that you make yourself from things that you'll have readily around the house. It takes about five minutes to make and you don't need special skills to do it. And they're called cola pens. Not a thing of great beauty are they but they are so versatile and that's why I've fallen in love with them. One cola pen can replace what, five, five pens and three brushes because of the variety of marks it can make, the variety of widths and that's what I want to show you and share with you. So let's take a look. Cola pens were developed for um, calligraphy and I saw them on the internet and I thought oh I bet you could draw with those and one pen can produce everything from this incredibly thick bold line through to really really fine marks just by altering the angle and the pressure that you use. So in the course I'm going to show you how to make it say so it takes five minutes five ten minutes tops um, and you don't need to be some sort of metal working wizard to do it and using it in practice is wonderful so let me show you some of the the pen and wash that I've done with it this uh, eagle owl was one of the first drawings that I did with with the cola pen and I fell in love with these huge bold marks you could get and then these really lovely fine lines I got a bit fixated with birds of prey and uh, cola pens and you can see this red kite and again say I just love the strength that you can get but also the fineness of detail however it's not just about birds of prey so for example I, I live near Reading and this is Reading Town Hall which is this wonderful Victorian building um, doesn't look quite like this this I thought of it as a fairy tale castle and I wanted to make the fairy tale of Reading and the cola pen was just fantastic for really bold expressive marks but then capturing some of the fine detail of the the wrought iron work and the, the clock face and the tiles uh, and so forth so in this class I'm going to take you through how to make the pen and how to use it and then we're going to work together to paint this red kite we're going to start with the ink and then put washes of watercolour over the top to bring it to life and in total it'll take about an hour and a half I reckon it obviously depends how quick you work the tutorial is in full length it's not a time lapse and I don't cut out all the uh, the crucial bits so it's full length it'll be like you're sitting in the studio alongside me to really put that cola pen through its paces you don't need to have ever used um, a cola pen before or even to have done pen and wash before because I'll take you through everything and I think it'll be really enjoyable and you'll fall in love with cola pens just like I have. So I hope you can join me and sign up at www.lizchatterton.studio.co.uk